hello dear students welcome back to my channel again hope you are all doing well so far we have discussed the important uh, questions or uh, passing strategy for the mathematics subject for the triple e stream students today i am with the important subject again uh, chemistry for triple e stream subject code is bche ch -E -E who are having the backlogs also so they can also refer these important questions okay so this is for the regular students especially uh, now let me discuss here the important questions by which you can not only pass uh, the chemistry subject you can easily score more than 70 or 70 marks or 80 marks by this much content okay so let us discuss the important questions uh, let me take the model 3 over here first which is a very simpler one and comparatively uh, it is easier one from the others okay so what is a corrosion explain the electrochemical theory of corrosion taking iron as an example most important question this may be seven marks question and what is e-waste explain the methods of e-waste disposal again super important question explain the types of corrosion in detail and uh, discuss sources uh, types and effects of e-waste on environment and human health next is uh, explain the process of galvanization or sometimes they will ask you galvanizing only with a neat diagram explain the sacrificial anode method for the corrosion control and mention its applications right next is uh, what is a corrosion penetration rate there will be one numerical attached with this question that is what is corrosion penetration rate or sometimes describe the corrosion penetration rate that is cpr and you have to go through the numerical part of it okay where you have to calculate the cpr right last but not least is the describe the extraction of gold from e-waste mention any two advantages of recycling so far they have asked uh, extraction of copper okay maybe this time they will ask uh, you the question like extraction of gold from e-waste okay so this is all about the model third so these uh, are the seven questions which you have to cover from the model third over here next is model five where you have to focus on some super important questions like what are reference electrodes explain the construction and working and application of calamon electrode this is the definite question okay seven marks will be for it and you have to focus on the diagrammatic part okay i earlier told you in one of my videos that uh, you should focus on the construction part it carries suppose if the question uh, is having seven marks so three marks or four marks will be definitely for the construction part right next is uh, what are ion selective electrode discuss the construction and working of the last electrode okay next uh, explain the method of determination of ph by using glass electrode most important one okay next is explain the construction and working principle of electrochemical sensors optical sensors and uh, conductometric sensors uh, calorimetric sensor and potentiometric sensors so from these sensors definitely three questions will come or will appear in the examination and if uh, they will ask you the construction and working principle of conductometric sensors they will ask you the question now uh, write its application in estimation of weak acid similarly if uh, they ask you this question they will uh, ask you uh, the estimation of copper over there okay for the potentiometric sensor they will ask you the application in estimation of iron okay so as i earlier mentioned that you have to focus on the diametric diagrammatic or construction part write down the diagram neatly you will definitely get you will definitely get three to four marks for the diagram itself okay and rest of the theory you just uh, write down in your own words okay that is not of a uh, good wattage wattage over there okay so i hope you will cover all the diagrams so that uh, you can get 20 marks from this particular module okay so you should not leave any topic any uh, diagram over there what are the concentration cells and uh, numerical will be attached with it in our part uh, suppose in one of the parts they will ask you what are the concentration cells and numerical sometimes you can neglect also okay if in first uh, first part they will ask you these uh, construction and working principle of these sensors and one of these questions so no need to go for the numerical so if uh, you are convenient with the numerical part then definitely go for it as there are the intermixing of questions from the both of the chapters okay so you should surely go for the numerical then only next is model second where you have to cover some questions like what are batteries explain the classification of batteries uh, with an example okay next is uh, what are fuel cells explain the construction and working of methanol oxygen fuel cell this is the super important question next is what are flow batteries explain the construction and working of vanadium redox fl uh, flow battery Men mention its applications also okay last three questions from the model second are 
what is uh, sorry explain current structure and working of ion uh, sodium ion battery what are photovoltaic cells explain the current structure and working of photovoltaic cells mention its advantage and disadvantage last question from the model second is explain the construction of polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell pem okay so these are the six questions which you have to cover from the module second over there next is module four where you have to uh, cover seven questions uh, like uh, explain the properties and applications of QLED, okay, cotton uh, light emitting diode, okay. Next is uh, explain the properties and applications of organic light emitting diodes over there, okay. Next is what are the nanomaterials, explain the size dependent properties of nanomaterials, explain the preparation of nanomaterials by sol gel method, explain the properties and applications of uh, peroxide materials, okay. Now write a short note on nanofibers and nano sensors what are liquid crystals lcds and uh, this one explain the classification properties and applications of liquid crystals in display systems this is all about the model four now let me come to the model first in which you have to cover five uh, topics or five questions define electroless palating definite question okay describe the electroless palating of copper in the manufacture of double-sided pcb printed circuit board next is explain the terms uh, conductor semiconductors and insulators on the basis of band theory with the band diagrams next explain the preparation properties and commercial applications of graphene oxide uh, explain the production of uh, electronic grid silicon by cz method and fz method okay last question from the model first is what are uh, conducting polymers excellent conducting mechanism of polyestylene so there are some numericals also if you are convenient go through the numerical part otherwise you can pass the chemistry subject without numericals i'm telling you this is the theoretical subject this is not like the pu first or pu second chemistry okay it is easier one much more theoretical no more organic uh, react, uh, sorry organic chemistry is here where you have to draw the structures this is not like that okay this is simply the theoretical concepts are here which you have to go through and some construction parts are there okay so you have to uh, practice well for the diagrams your diagram should be neat in the answer booklet in as far as video examination is concerned okay more weightages for the diagrams so i hope you will cover this much content whatever i have discussed so far in this video and i wish you all the best for your examinations uh, so start your preparation right now itself and thanks for watching my video